I want to design a simple equipment skid in Solid Edge, and I'm going to start in a 2D sketch within a 3D assembly environment. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a sketch of a rectangle to determine the size of my skid, and I can key in those values right here. Let's say it's 200 inches by 8 feet. Now that'll be the footprint of my equipment skid, and my job now is to place the equipment. Over here I've got some components listed in my assembly tree, and what these are is these are called virtual components. They're placeholders of real 3D data or d data I'm going to design, and this allows me to build the structure of my assembly before I actually place any data in it. So I can go and browse for more equipment and then add it to my assembly just by dragging it in. Now when I'm ready to place that equipment, I just have to drag it from my assembly tree into my sketch. And what Solid Edge allows me to do is select a component view, which is a 2D representation of the part, and then place it on my sketch. Now the advantage of using a 2D sketch to position your components is that you can use sketch relationships to accurately position them for example, to center them or use dimensions to accurately place them relative to other parts in the assembly. Let's make that 12 inches from the edge. Alright, I'm going to continue placing my components. I've got a compressor here. and I'll select the top view. And let's put that in over here. And then a compressor motor. and I'll use the sketch relationship to join up that compressor motor with the compressor on the shaft. Last thing I'm going to add is my heat exchanger. We'll position that somewhere here. Now because these component sketches can contain any information I want, um, it becomes useful for designing a skid. For example, in this case I've laid out the center lines of where these components need to be mounted so that I can accurately position my beams on my skid so that they're directly under the mounting points of my equipment. And you see that as I do that the Solid Edge sketch tool will pick up intelligently and allow me to align my geometry precisely to the equipment. And I get that user feedback on my mouse. Okay, having completed that, I'm going to exit out of my layout sketch. And I'm going to go do two things now. The first is I'm going to go into our frames environment. And I'm going to create a welded frame by selecting my cross section and other options, and then picking the geometry I want to use and a type of material. <clears throat> and that's going to automatically create uh, a welded beam with the cross-section and end treatments that I've selected. I can further edit that by click selecting a key point to position my beam relative to the sketch I created. In this case I want that sketch to represent the top center lines of that frame. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to publish my virtual components and what this means is that I'm going to now retrieve the 3D data that's associated with these sketches now that I've placed them in 2D. And that's very quickly created my equipment and my frame. The last thing I may want to do is change some of the positioning of my equipment. And one of the things that's really handy in this is this steering wheel. This is the same tool we use for synchronous editing of parts, but it's also really great for placing and positioning components in an assembly. You can pick up on a key point and then use the steering wheel to move or rotate the equipment around. So by picking up on key points of the equipment, I can then move them and precision place them relative to other key points in my assembly. Once I'm satisfied with my design, I'm going to create a, a drawing that will include all of the cut lengths for the welded frame. And notice that it's even created uh, individual components as well as total length. 